As the saying goes, "Sing gong kao fu gong." Success hinges on your father's deed. Most of us believe that being born with a silver spoon can give someone a head start to success. Not only do they have access to better resources, we also often perceive them as successful without considering their ability. Just because their parents are successful, we think they are successful too. Is it true that individuals with higher socioeconomic status are more privileged than others? Do they really enjoy more benefits? In our study, we explore the power of socioeconomic status in the workplace. Specifically, we want to see whether someone with higher socioeconomic status, which is abbreviated as SES, has a higher chance of being employed. Education, occupation, and income are three critical indicators of SES. In this case, we use parents' education level as an independent variable. We hypothesize that mentioning parents' education level in an interview will affect interviewers' impression of a candidate, and candidates with more educated parents. Are more likely to be employed. To test our hypothesis, we distributed a survey to 117 undergraduate students. They were given a situation in which they acted as a boss of a marketing company, hoping to hire a marketing assistant director. The only information given is from the notes they jot down during an interview with a candidate, David Chen. They were then asked to rate some certain qualities of the candidate, and finally evaluate how likely they would hire him. What they didn't know is that the participants were actually randomly put into three groups, receiving three different sets of surveys. With all other variables controlled, the notes of Group One include an additional piece of information that the candidate's parents obtained master degrees. The candidate in Group Two has parents with no further education after secondary three, while Group Three, the control group, is not provided with any information on parents' education level. Participants were then asked to rate the candidate's communication skills, cognitive skills, time management, motivation, and personality, and consider how likely they would hire him. By the end of the survey, they were asked what factors affect their consideration of employing the candidate. Do you think you're more likely to hire a candidate with educated parents? Of course not. I'm educated and rational. I'm clearly not the kind of person to judge people based on their background. Yay! Congratulations! You are the majority. Most of the participants in the study indicated that parents' education level is not an important factor when considering whether to hire a candidate. But here's the plot twist: the majority, probably including you, tend to hire the candidate with parents who obtained master's degrees. I'm clearly not the kind of person to judge people based on their background. In addition, the candidate with high SES is evaluated as better in most of the aspects. Specifically, people perceive them as more capable of spotting loopholes than the candidate with no information about their parents' education. Although it is not statistically significant. There is a small effect that a high SES candidate has a higher chance of being employed than the low SES candidate. But why? Why is it that high SES brings all these benefits to someone? To understand why, the first thing you need to know is the halo effect. The halo effect is a type of cognitive bias. In which your overall impression of a person influences your feelings and thoughts about their character. One of the typical examples is that when you find someone attractive, you will probably assume that that person also possesses all other great qualities. The halo effect could also be put in the context of social class, in terms of the big five personality traits. 
Studies have found that people of higher social status are generally seen as more open, conscientious, extroverted, and agreeable, but less neurotic. Apparently, we all have little fantasies about those with higher SES, that they own all the good personalities without reason. Having a higher social class means that you are more capable, even you are not. You may have a question now: Why do we have a good impression on people with high SES? Why do we often associate high SES with something good? It is all about stereotypes. Stereotype is the widely shared and simplified evaluative image of a social group and its members. Under the stereotype content model, people with higher status are often perceived as more competent and valued. On the other hand, people with lower status are perceived as less capable. We are deeply influenced by stereotypes because we often make inferences based on heuristics. Stereotypes are deeply implanted in our minds. That they are often readily available when we perceive new information. Therefore, we quickly form bias on people based on their background. These perceptions and stereotypes surprisingly influence employers' decisions in hiring. A study found that employers tend to place less trust in employees with lower SES because employers believe that they have lower competence, benevolence, and social impact. As you can imagine, low SES candidates are less likely to be hired. High SES candidates, on the other hand, enjoy some kinds of benefits in the workplace. There may be an illusory correlation that we overestimate the correlation between the social background and the ability of the candidate. After knowing all these black mirrors, you probably will blame your parents that they should be responsible for your failed career. Calm down, folks. SES is not determining everything. Just keep in mind that our experiment is not statistically significant; that results may only happen by chance. Now we can see that although SES does indeed affect your prospects of getting employed, hard work and ability are also essential elements that lead to success. Goodbye, everyone. And good luck with getting a job.